Hi guys again, uh, Lightship Planet El Prez. We are doing the blue part of Unlimited Blade Works 2. <clears throat> and we start off with quite a good card here. I haven't said this very many times in this set, but this card is actually a very good card. Yes. So, Snow Fairy Ilya, it's a 105k. Uh, when it attacks, if official pact is in the climax zone, which is the blue stock soul, there's a stock soul in every color in this uh, set. Hey man. Uh, I'm I'm pissed because that climax is great. It could have and if you have, it, you could have gotten three soul draw in every color, we could be KOF. That would be pretty <laughs> satanic. <laughs> <laughs> like that's not even a good climax these days. It's just it it exists to be played on turn one and be a complete and utter asshole. Um, <laughs> if like pack, for five damage. If official pact is in the climax zone, you have four more other characters with master or servant. You may draw a card. So free pluses if you have full field. Yeah, full field master servant. So um this card is really great because blue master deck was already incentivized to full field for Kodomine. And you have lots of good like zero costs masters and servants that you can just chuck down. And you can populate your field with just a Ilya, or whatever. level zero zero, that's an Akatsuki is already one way to flood your yeah. field for basically got, free. Like Rin brainstorms, you've got other one zeros. Like hopefully you have more than one of this in the front row. Because you want to actually go plus, as opposed to just cantripping. But um, uh, there are ways to get more than one. Like, there's no Ricky in the set, so you can't go full Little Busters. Uh, but you can just play the Ilya Katsuki to grab this, or you could... Uh... Yeah, you know, that's the main way. There's also a... <laughs> this is a bit of a, um, a recurring theme, but there's a 1-0 event. It's a caster event, but... You get to look at the top four cards of your deck and search for one blue character and add it to hand. That is also bondable for the record. And since cast has both master and servant trait, uh, that's really good for this deck as well. Yep. So um, there's that way of getting this Ilya. What I'm trying to say is there are a heap of ways to get this Ilya to hand. And this Ilya is one of the most splashable blue cards. Uh, yep. And it makes the Fate Zero EB Kodomine a lot better because it in it um incentivizes full field and gets you pluses along the way. Um, also, if you do happen to like, let's say, uh, one of your back row pro slots, you're running Master is going to be an Avenger or some kind of Avenger. There's two of them, right? It does mm -hmm. theoretically mean that you could actually use this effect a second time the following turn if you were to draw into another climax with it. That's pretty painful, but I do agree that's a possibility. You probably won't clock on core this, um, mm. but if you do end up drawing the climax, let's say from her own effect, there might be an incentive to clock on core. I want to touch on the fact that you don't search for a traded card, but instead you draw. This is both a up and downside. Up because you can draw into your one zero events and your climaxes to do it again. And down, because obviously you don't get to pick what you draw, so sometimes you draw into cards that are just utterly worthless. Yep. However, there are a heap of cards in this set, which, um, and in the old set, which um, benefit from just raw pluses, because you have a bunch of discard outlets. For example, the caster, which bonds to the 1-0 event I was talking about, is actually, um, it bonds by um, discarding a card from hand. So you can turn raw pluses into 1-0 events that you can then use to get what you want. Yep. Uh, same thing goes for the Akatsuki or the Azusa Ilya from the last set, where you just want raw pluses because you can discard whatever the hell you draw. Yep. And, so this card yeah. is actually like absolutely great. Uh, this is probably, I think, the biggest addition to the Master deck. I think so. It changes the um, changes the master deck landscape to blue at level one, and I think that's perfectly fine. I mean, I think you already ran blue to an extent level one because the Kodomine was one of. The no, 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 no. You don't no. think you so? Never ran that. You did not run that. Uh, Kodomine is a good card, but now it's you're definitely. It's only a six-five. It's only a six-five. Didn't do anything. You'd rather run a. You'd rather run a Rin or Shiro pack. I guess. Before. I guess there is an incentive to run uh, Rin over it at level one. Yeah, because you um, because you get collateral to access to. Yeah, Collider Ruby, Gandhi shoots are all these good level ones. Yeah, but I think but, um, blue. Now you can run blue. One. Yeah, you can run Kodamina, You can run this and not feel bad about it at all. Anyways, like, it's just good card. very good. Uh, yeah, I I, I get the meta rating. I would also. I honestly think I honestly think this is possibly the best double R in the set, and it is criminally underrated on Yute because Yute sucks at evaluating cards. I would also. It get is the meta rating. 500 yen, but at least the players aren't stupid because it is very sold out. I would also give this the meta rating. Um, yeah. Moving forward is another Ilya. 
Uh, Ilya gets all the good cards in the set. You can keep my rating there. It is exactly oh, the same. Uh, <laughs> signal of battle commencement, uh, Ilya. It's a 0 0 1k. When it's placed from hand to stage, check top card. If it's a master or servant, add it to hand and discard a card. So uh, it's like the ring we talked about, except it goes in more decks than just the ring deck. Yeah, uh, free hand filters are fucking dumb. This actually goes into the Rider deck if you want, because it gets everything but the Sakura. I was say anyway. Wait, wait, but I... it? it grabs... Master or servant. It doesn't grab twins. Oh, oh that's right. It doesn't grab twins, twins are Never mind me. twin god. Twins are, yeah, yeah. So it doesn't do that. Never mind me. It's not good in that deck, but it's good in every other deck. And there right, actually are about... some uh, servant, uh, Master Sakuras. Yeah, but no good ones. No. <laughs> so... Uh... <laughs> The second ability is a one cost, clock your top deck. I like where this is going. When this is placed from hand to stage, you may pay cost. If so, draw a card. Um, that effect exists in other sets. It's okay. Um, it's uh, Like I said, it's better in this set. Yeah, it's better in this set because you have outlets. a lot of discard outlets. Yeah, like we just talked about, the ones that are earlier drawing a card is fine because you have discard outlets that turn your uh, extra hand into just raw resources and raw selective resources. So this card... It's not only a great filter, but it also just gets you advantage that you you might you might draw into your stock soul if you're a if you're a hack. Or a it's guy. a very solid card. Um, I would advise people who play the master deck to pick some number up because this card is great. It even fixes for blue and. Yep. Yeah, not much I can well, say. I don't think the... fixing for blue is an issue with master deck. <laughs> oh well, now you can have seven slots. Uh, so checking top deck and discarding a card from hand if you get the relevant trait is a bullshit ability that shouldn't continually be printed. It just makes everything too easy for everybody. But I have I to give credit feel... where credit is due. I know where that Sorry? feels like. Hashtag yeah, run just... four of it and Gagant shooter just cause. It's a testament to how strong some decks like LB and DeCapo are because they don't have that effect and yet are still like high top tier. Well. Yep. Does um wait? Does Guilty Crown have it? I don't think they do. No, it doesn't. Guilty oh, Crown well, has Guilty like Crown's, a really Guilty silly brainstormer well. from the comeback campaign. Yeah, it's pretty good. Basically, Umi. Uh, next card Except is level one. <laughs> or level Mythologi zero. Mythological Magician Caster. It is a one zero five k. It is a field counter, a costed field counter. Which so is bad. One cost, sack this, choose another master character. Um, when another master character is front attack, you may pay cost. If you do choose a character, it gains 2-5 for the turn. So um, you should, we should note that this card is clock bondable. Uh, it does not I make think, it better, in my mind. Um, I've, I think it's okay, but the main issue is level 1 blue masters. The only somewhat big one is Kodomine, and by sacking this card, you're making it smaller. So it's actually... A 2k value. counter. It becomes field. just a 2k counter. That you yeah, paid for. Um, uh, exactly. I, I don't think it's very good. Uh, never mind that I, take the slot on the field. I only think it's bad in context. Otherwise... I think I would have preferred it being free and just being a 2k counter than being costed. 1-5, uh, uh, you mean. Oh, uh, sure. I would take that still, honestly. That's all of what the 1-0 costless ones are. That's fine. Uh, this card is fine. Uh, I don't think it's good enough to see playing the master deck for what I for the reasons I just said. It's kind of anti synergistic, and it forces you to run a bunch of like this. The big draw to this card is that it's clock bondable. Honestly speaking, I don't think that's enough of a draw for me to want to play it. I give it an initial rating. It's oh, also you can also get it with your one zero take a blue character event. This. Um, but at the same time, I still don't think you play many of that events in your um. In your master base no. deck, because you probably aren't running <laughs> that much. not many blue. There's not many blue characters. Not enough blue characters. Like you have, uh, maybe you have a bunch of Kirays, You have a bunch of Ilias, and then you have, you have like, probably like 15 blue characters. You know, so that event is more for the caster and um, Ilia centric decks. But uh, everything we said about it still holds up because the Ilia centric deck is a thing. Uh, at least more of a uh, thing now than before. Uh, I give this card niche rating. Yeah, I think so as well. It is take. You can take it off um, the Ilias and everything, so it's all right. Uh, next card, Tragic Magician Caster. It's a 2175. Uh, <laughs> this card is interesting. I don't know about good. With another character with Master or Servant attacks against 1k for the turn, so it's attacking as a 9-5, which isn't bad. Three cost, discard a Fulfilled Wish from your hand to waiting room. The Fulfilled Wish is your pants, I believe. At the start of your opponent's draw phase, if this is in the front row, you may pay cost. If you do, choose up to one of your opponent's level 3 or lower standing characters and rest it. Then deal X damage to your opponent, where X is the soul of that character. So people might not know, but this is not actually the first time this precise effect has been printed. Wasn't it uh, Sao Tzu? Uh, it might well be, but I do know it is definitely in Persona 4 anime. Well then, a, it's definitely... It costs, 
it costs seven, but um, here it costs three in discarding a specific climax. Not a fan of this effect. Um, I think it's a little bit too expensive, given that. I think that in context, this effect is just not good. Uh, that's stock that could be going towards any. Oh, language. I know what you're talking about. No, it, you're talking about the like the. the Namatame. Yeah, Namatame. It's like Namatare Taro. It's like zero zero or something. Namatame Troll Taro. <laughs> you played an execution dot deck because you have way too much stock in that deck, and you get um you have things to do with it. I'm writing an execution article. Actually, it'll go up in probably about a week's time. You guys can look forward to that. Oh, yes. But uh, what about the um, counting article? The what? The counting article. Oh, no, um, I, I like the idea of that article, but in the end I decided that most of my card counts are decided by instinct, and it's very hard to write an article all about your instincts. <laughs> Anyways, um, <laughs> this card is, I think, still niche. Um, it's niche, it goes into your Medea decks. Um, all about the waifus. Yeah, you know, what can I say? This card is interesting, but I don't think that this particular like uh, series likes the cost of three and discard a specific climax to ping your opponent for presumably two and anti-damage. Yeah. It's not actually anti-damage because they, they can move the slot. rested character back. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, yeah, it's not full anti-damage, but it does stop them from attacking with, say, America for a turn. So it's not all bad, but I also don't think it's worth including the pants and 2-1 package. For something, it. something hexproof. Um, yeah. <laughs> God damn it. You know, shit. <laughs> Next. Can't even choose Toma to do three damage. Trusting relationship, really and Berserk. So this is a come and play draw two drop one. It's a three to nine K which gains one K for each Ilya in your back row. So. And when this attacks, if encounter and bomb is in the climax zone, which is the book, I believe. Oh, it's uh, the uh, it's the effect from um CG. Where it you, is the CG, yeah. yeah. You mill CG. five. Um, and, and then you deal X damage, where X is the number of Climax cards put into the waiting room, and you also get 2k power. Which is also the so, same as CG. Uh, is it? I don't yeah, think the CG will get You gain power on CG. Do you? Yep. I remember that being a 10k. Whatever. <laughs> uh, this card is for the Ilian Berserker deck, obviously. Uh, I think it's a niche uh, card still. i really sad that I, I changed just, the ratings when I was like deleting them randomly. Um, this, is not, this is not the payoff for the Ilian Berserker deck. It just happens to be a level 3 in that deck. But it seems all right. I mean, Hercules is not being manly enough here. Mm. He's a... Uh, card, is, card is all right. Yeah. I think it's niche because it only goes into the Ilya Berserker deck. But in that deck, it is all Fine. right. Like, it's... if you want to draw to drop one, you can play the caster from UBW. It does more. And the climax is okay, but I don't know. I mean, functionally speaking, if you're playing the Ilya deck... This is going to be an 11k base, uh, 14 yeah. on offense, so like, probably killing something. Um, it's more than 11k, because your back rows are... Well, your back rows are also going to do stuff, so it's like anywhere from 14 to 16k, depending on like level assist or what have you. Yeah, no, that's fair, but um, I think this card is theoretically splashable, but not worth the splash. Yep. Therefore, I give the niche uh, Its traits are Master Servant, right? Yes. Okay, cool. Uh, you can also, um, you can pay two to search it with the card we're about to talk about, which is a card you only play in the Ilya Berserker deck anyway. It's up. So that doesn't add to its slash ability points. It's also still niche. Yep, so this card is 0, 0, 500. It's a one-cost bond to Stubborn Servant Berserker, which is a kind of sucky card, if you ask me. And then two cost when it's placed from stage to waiting room, so when it dies, uh, you may pay cost. If you do, search for up to one of the level three we just talked about and add it to hand. Uh, yeah, the card at Bonsu is really bad. <laughs> um... The card of Bonds 2 is a 1055 clock on core with no other effects. We've been over that effect before, it's just not big enough. 55 um, is just not big enough, that's the only issue. Really. It actually also is like really problematic because it needs 5 or more cards in hand, and mm. it also probably means that you need to not have 5 or more cards in hand to make your Ilias yes. go. I agree. I don't think 55 is good enough to begin with, but there are a few cards which um, do make it slightly bigger. But um, that's oh. enough for this card. It's still just niche. It's yes. bothered. Uh, I don't think I'm going to be changing these ratings for a while. That is fair. Uh, next card, Strongest Warrior oh, this Berserker. That's funny, though. <laughs> this card is hilarious, but I can't see it being very good. It's not. Uh, so it's a 0, zero 2 k This cannot side attack. For each marker under this, it gains 1k power. And when it's reversed in battle, if there are less 10 or less markers under this, you can put the top card of your stock under it as a marker. So, if so, rest it. The flavor is really shitty, because it should have been 
uh, 11 or fewer markers because Hercules and his 12 labors. Um, um, I think that the... Um... They're actually playing for 12k, I think, because 12, 12... But it should have been 12 markers, I think. Um, um, yeah, Heracles only... Heracles did 12 labors. Yeah, it's Heracles and his 12 labors. Um, and um, he only gets 10 markers instead of 12. But um, the, the, uh, his Noble Phantasm, isn't it just 11 lives? He has 11 additional lives because he starts with one. Right. So he so has 12 lives get... total. Yeah, so that's... Um, yeah, so he has... He's still missing a life here. You have to kill him 12 times. You have to kill him 11 times. Or 10. Oh, you have to kill him 12 times. No, you have to kill him 12 times. Yeah, you have to kill him 12 times. So yeah, he one, gets to 11 and markers. He gets to 11 markers. And he gets to 11 markers, and then you kill him, and then, then he, he no does. longer has. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, if you um, gain you levels, it would be a lot better. <laughs> yeah, it's a pretty sick flavor, but it dies the wind triggers. Um, and the most important thing about this is... The two one Kirito from SA Volume Two can restand on this an inordinate number of times. <laughs> oh my god! Stop it! Stop it! Um, I think that um, this could almost be bad. I still, I don't know. It's funny. I'd like to point out that if you clock kick this, you don't force your opponent to lose one stock. Because it didn't. Uh, when when it comes to them them checking for uh, state based events, there will no longer be there. ten or fewer markers under this because this is no longer here. So you don't get to kill one stock. The effect checks on resolution. So yes. Um, I don't know if this card is, is full on bad. I would probably just it's run not, it for it's not. It's not bad. It's niche. It's it's hilarious. I would probably run it at like I'm, two of just for shiggles. I'm, I'm giving it not bad for flavor rating alone. <laughs> There was one translation on foreign which was like, oh, this gets a card from your top deck every time oh, it dies. Oh, my goodness. Like, oh, my goodness. That card is amazing. Free Encore. Let's go, boys. Um, uh, right, anyways. So next card. Confronting the king earlier. The king being Gilgamesh. 101k. Something's up. When this is placed from hand stage, you may pay cost, which is this card card from hand to waiting room. If you do, search your deck for one berserker name, add it to hand, and shuffle your library. Hashtag free drop <laughs> Um, yeah, but that goes hand in hand with this next effect. Two cost, bounce this to your hand. When this is front attacked, you may pay cost. If you do, choose up to one strong will berserker in your hand and add it to the slot this was in as the defending character. Already, so it's a trap card. It is a trap card which lets your opponent know very obviously that you have the card um, that it traps to in hand. Because here's basically, card... yeah, it's just how it goes. It's like, okay, so he didn't search for it, so he already had it in his hand. He did search for it, he has it in his hand now. I mean, you could be a tricky moron and not search for it, and your opponent will assume you haven't had when in reality. You and then don't. they side you, but like they just want you want it to front anyway. It's just exactly. I'm 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 um, tempted just to pay cost to get another drop search. Then it's like yeah, the drop search was costed card, fairly. This card is bad against all decks that uh, have the option to side attack because your opponent will just side attack this, and then you have a one zero one k. What the hell are you going to do with that? Uh, it changes to a one zero. Uh, uh, sorry, two one seven five. That it trap changes to a two one seven five, which gains one k for each Ilya in your back row. Uh, which we'll get to in a second. Yes, we uh, this card is still niche. Um, in the worst case, even if you don't search it, you can be really tricky. Maybe they'll front it. I'd pay cost anyways, and at that point, it's like you got two drop searches out of one card. Uh, if you needed the drop searches. If you needed the you drop searches, which you don't know. Yeah, you're running a deck with probably four Ilya Kartskis and then three or four of the top checker, so you don't I mean, really need to discard outlets. If you need more outlet. free discard outlets, here you go. This card is interesting, but if you just side your opponent, what are they going to do? Run into you and give you more direct attacks, or side you in a never-ending side war? I am usually it's never-ending side war, and it's very funny until they can get big enough to kill your dude. Well, they actually win the side war if they keep drawing into their stock soul climaxes. Yeah. Uh, because then they just get more gas than you. But anyway, moving on. This card is surprisingly good against the ones like that need to reverse your opponent. Uh, Kokomi will be very, very sad. Yeah, more or less. Uh, Duel of Legends, Ilya. It's a two one five k. It's uh, probably the best support for the deck. All of your other strong will berserker, the card that we just uh, talked about changing into, gain one k, and it's a level assist. So it gives one k, two k to that berserker if it's right behind it. Um, and reality it gives it 3k because it also gets another thousand for this being the back row. So with just this and this and the two one being in front of this, it's already a 10 five. It's pretty sweet, honestly. Two speaking. one 10 fives are pretty sweet. Uh, issue is that 
um, it's just it's a two, level two. Five that it forced you to put all these cards in your deck, and because of that, you're not playing like other good, good cards. cards. And yeah, it's, you're warping the deck around Ilya and Berserker, and Bardock's not really a bad thing. We'll get to the payoff cards soon, but uh, I'm pretty iffy on it. It's, it's a niche card. Shirt. Yeah. Uh, this so is the Berserker. two one that we were talking about. Same card. Um, I want to talk about the Ilya back row you could possibly have. So aside from the level assist that we just talked about, there is a 1-0 Ilya from the first set, which gives character encore in front, I think. Um, I'll have to find it, because I'm not 100% sure anymore. I don't know. It is a rare. Um, you can keep talking, I'm just going to look for it. Um, this 2-1 oh. is, I guess, in the worst case, you just put like a Katsu or something in the back row, so like... Almost in the worst case, it's always going to be a two one nine five. Um, if you're building the Ilya Berserker deck, uh, Ilya, you, you're just going to keep two Ilyas in your back row always because that's the only way like some of these cards even go. Um, I don't oh, know what, what else. Ilya has no good cards. <laughs> I don't know what else to say. Mm. Uh, I just think that this card is all right because there are some decent Ilyas uh, to put in the back row. Most notably, the two one there. And um, if you are a true master, you will play um, you will play the zero zero two five from the first UBW set that markers itself from hand to give everything in front one k. Dear God. Memes, I have them. Moving on. <laughs> of course, you can you can just chuck the um. This turns all of your Akatsuki and top checkers into supports as well, so that's yep. fine. And um, most importantly, there's the box top of PR in this set, which is. A global 500 to all Ilya and Berserker. Well, I remember having to pay $15 for my Terraformers equivalent. Yeah, these ones are about like $12, I think. Holy Jesus. <laughs> yeah, they're pretty good. So, all kinds of attacks. So, Ichiro Kuzuki. This is the clock bond to the uh, uh, field, counter. field counter. And one cost draw ditch, which is always a nice effect to have, but it has to be a good card otherwise. So, why does he get the master trait, even though he was never actually a master? Uh, he is a master. Well, like, not really. Yeah, he's the master. He's the one who's providing her with mana. Really? Yeah. I could have sworn she was just providing herself with mana after killing her own master. Uh, yes, but then she... wait. Like, that's why she is uh, master servant. She kills her master, becomes no, the no, master. She, she's, she, no, she's master servant because... Well, she's master she's servant because she's also master a master of assassin. other servants, but like... Master of assassin. But like, I thought the whole point was, she was uh. summoned, she kills her master... She becomes the master of Assassin, who is bound to the land, so she's not really providing mana to, to Assassin. I need to go to the Type Moon wiki. And then uh, she meets him, he's an Assassin, and then they like fall in love and do some shit. I, like, I could have sworn he's not actually the master. Like, he doesn't provide uh, no, mana. No, 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 he does provide mana. He does provide she was, mana. She was about to die after killing her own master. So, okay. Um, okay. Yeah. So he became... I, uh, I must have missed something there, then. Yes. Uh, the other effect is the startup pay one, draw one, ditch one. Uh, I wouldn't run this. Um, mm -hmm. Unless you really like the field counter. I don't think this is worth playing because the field counter is not necessarily worth playing. I'm going to leave it on niche because there's not enough playable him. Mm -hmm. Yep. Basically. So, next card is Big, Ca Big Magic Caster. Uh, this card is alright. It's hard to fit it into a deck because it doesn't have Ilya or Berserker name, but it works well in the Ilya and Berserker deck. Uh, the encounter on the rainy day is the Akatsuki of, or Junketsu uh, event. The, the uh, Junketsu event, yeah, Junketsu or Charles Kamen, whatever. whatever. Yeah, so um, yeah, you play it, discard a card, and add a encounter on the rainy day to your waiting room. In your waiting room, add it to hand, and then your other character in the front row center slot gains one k, which is quite valuable to be quite honest. I don't think this card is really that necessary. Um. It's best it's at level nice. one. It's nice as a two of. It gets progressively less good as you advance in levels. Hmm. Uh, because you're gonna start putting Ilya back rows there. <laughs> so, moving on to the next card, also a caster. Um, magic battle caster. That's a two five, and if you put a blue climax in your climax zone, it gains two k power. It's whatever. Uh, it's. I don't want to call it bad because it's not bad, but I just don't think it's good. I'm just glad I'm not having to change my ratings right now. It saves me so much effort. This card is hella niche. 
I think it just lands there in the I'm end. I'm just moving on. Sasaki Kojiro. <laughs> Tsubamagaishi, assassin. Um, when Tsubamagaishi is placed into Climax Zone, Tsubamagaishi being the 2K1 soul. Oh god, it's making me change my set. freaking ratings. <laughs> <laughs> if this is in the front row, mill 3. If there are any Climax cards among them, choose a level 1 or character, level 1 or lower character opposite this and put it on the bottom of the library. It's bad! It actually does kill runners if you manage to mill something. Oh, it's on Climax placement? Sure, it's still bad! It's bad because at level 0, you probably don't have any of, like, if you're killing a runner with this, then they don't have a field at all, so you're 2k1 souling to do 3 and not really do anything. Uh, and later on, it's like... It doesn't do anything. still doesn't do anything. Um, I think this... It's, it's just bad. not a good card. It's You're right. Bad. Yeah, it's bad. It's a trap. It makes you run two K one souls that you don't want to run, it's and bad. you might not even hiss. I like how uh, the the glorious ca categorization we use for bad is largely it looks like it's a good card, but it's actually a trap. Don't run it. Well, the Bushy Road Department tends to not print outright bad cards, so that is most of our bad rating. Hashtag traps. Not that kind of trap, though. Repeated follow-up attacks. So each for Kuzuki 0035, when it's placed from hand to stage, reveal the top card of your library. If it's not a master or servant, add it to clock. I can just put it back to Nish, but this is actually, like, playable. This is playable, but don't we already have a Fate 035 that does a that does this with less risk? I think so. Um, I can't remember if it was in the EB or not. I think it just was. From There's a foil version. Um, just from Kuritsugu. Yeah, it's Artist Ryunosuke. It's a 0025, which is... 3 5 with 5 more cards in hand. So, yeah, I can safely say this card is actually just bad because that Runosco is better. Don't make me change my ratings. Sucks to be you. No, I'm this is Nish because there's a waifu deck with him in it, obviously. Um, we, you know, we don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, practically speaking, no. You, you don't run this um, ever. Mm. <laughs> okay, next card. Ilya. Short break, Ilya. 004k, when this becomes reversed, your opponent may draw two, drop two. So this is actively bad because it's it doesn't have any defense against being bombed, and even worse than that, it helps your opponent. Um Unrelated, but except to Ilya. You know how many people were surprised? Like people who watch Prism Ilya, but not original fate, to hear that Ilya there was a bad guy. That? Yes, there, there are people, people who did that because there are people who are into lollies or some shit. Oh my god. Uh, anyways, and they were surprised when they heard that Ilya was a bad guy. There are people who watched Prisma Ilya but not original. My god. That's that's actually they a didn't, They didn't realize that Ilya was the bad guy. <laughs> a bad guy. Uh, she is I'm, the, I'm, she is I'm not really a good down. Player. I'm, I'm so down. As if people actually watched Prisma Ilya but didn't watch or read Original Fate. That, that's. We're gonna move on while you're having this moment of realization. Oh, cool! I can leave it on bad. Um... Realization. This card is niche because it's what? Bond of War. Fine. I'm still leaving it on bad. I still don't think this is like something you would run. Who watches Prisma Ilya? <laughs> Stop it. I couldn't watch more than one episode because nothing happened. Stop it. Stop it. She's not even that cute. She's like a standard lolly. You go watch your like Gotchi Uso or freaking A channel crap like that if you want your Moe lolly bullshit. Stop it. I'm so unhappy about this. Next card, one zero fictional uh fictional heroic spirit Fictitious assassin. Heroic spirit assassin. Uh, he's fictional. Sure. When this is placed from hand to stage, oh, I'm just so down. I don't even want to read this card. It's when this is placed bad. from hand to stage, if you, no, it's not bad. It's, it's just not good. If you have four more other characters of Master or Servant, this can side attack without soul penalty. Great way to leave a clock kick target late game when you don't want to take extra damage but do anyway. Great way to leave a card for your opponent to reverse with their level 1 combos. I think this card is actually not good because the side attack without penalty can. It's bad. I phased out for a moment there. I think it's bad because of what I just said. Um, you can you leave a body behind to be reversed, and uh, at any point in the game, that's oh, not sweet. great. 
Whereas I've already the moved other... on to a vanilla. <laughs> oh, mate. Oh, yeah, that card is just bad. Don't run it. Um, I think, because there's no specific Ilya support as opposed to Berserker um, cards that support both Ilya and Berserker. But at least it has Ilya in the name, so... It's all. still bad. It's still a vanilla, and it's still bad. Yeah, yeah. Um, so this next card, uh, one zero. Does he go into your manly deck too? No, because he requires casters, and caster is like not manly. <laughs> if you have another character with caster name, it becomes a one zero seven k, which is sweet. The character opposite this gets plus one soul. <laughs> Questionable. I love this effect, but I don't think it's actually good. I think it's pretty bad, honestly. Yeah, it lets your opponent side you for free, but. That's fine, but then you just kill them. Uh, I still think it's pretty bad. I think this card only goes into the caster deck, but it's pretty good in the caster deck. I mean, I guess you can get to, what, like, 8k in the center slot, or 9k in the center slot with this? It's niche. It's, like, I, it's definitely not bad. It's niche. The plus one soul seems like a trap, but in reality, it's not that big a deal, because no, the, you can the control... The plus one soul is not a trap. Uh, there are control other... of this card is on the field and all that as yeah. well. Um, whatever. Moving on. We're almost done. We have, we have almost made it. Uh, her visiting guests, Ilya. So this card is actually pretty good. It's the other, other level 1 play you should consider. It's a 2 one k which gains minus 1 level in hand if you have 6 or more climaxes in the waiting room. Now, remember that you have a um, you have an, uh, um, um, us effect, and in the Ilya deck, you also have a, uh, uh, the 1-0... Oh, uh, no climax ditching. Jahaya... Uh, um, Jahaya's camera to um, get a blue character, so you will fill your graveyard very quickly and quite possibly get six cards in at level one. We're playing Dredge. At which, yeah, at which point this is a 1-1 one, one unbombable 8k, unbombable to everything but Adachi in that and uh, Golden King Archer and that Kanji from PQ. Hey, you can't forget uh, Gigant Shooter zero zeros. Yeah, the Gigant Shooter zero zero Climax combo. Uh, this card is actually pretty good. Yeah, I, I actually like this card a lot. I'm going to put it as playable, uh, which beats most things, because not only is it playable no, in the Master deck... No, this would actually deck, be playable in the Master deck. Uh, it's playable in the Master deck, as well as the Ilya and Berserker deck, which I think is pretty good. I think it's playable Especially, in the Master deck, yeah. because even if in the Master deck, Blue you're Bane. still running Akatsuki's. Uh, you're probably not running the... Uh, the you're not running the camera, events, no. But you're, you're, you're definitely running stuff. Akatsuki, so it shouldn't be too difficult by mid to late level 1 to be already getting prepped for a refresh and just being able to drop well, this card. Actually, say you run like 4 of the Climax combo Ilya, and then like 3 of the Cure, and uh, say 2 of this, and then make your counters blue, and uh, 7 of the Azusa or um, Chai's camera. It's not a stupid idea to run Chai's camera, but I probably wouldn't do it I'd myself. I think you're running 50% misses, and I think that makes the card very I agree. Iffy. That's, that's very questionable. But um, it's not in, like it's not out of the equation entirely. No, I think 50% misses is probably where I draw one. I'd, I'd want probably about 70% hits um, if I was running so, that kind of card. So this card is actually quite good. All right. Father of the Fuyuki Church, Kure. He's a master weapon trait. Spoilers. Can I just put him when this is placed from hand to stage, choose a master or servant and sack it. Bad. It's a bad card. There's no reason to play it. Goes neg one, doesn't do anything for you. It doesn't even have two soul. One. Doesn't have two soul, it's terrible. At least the Kyoko from Rebellion had two soul. Uh, Reverberation of Defeat, Assassin, 2285. Uh... During your opponent's turn, when this becomes reversed, you may pay the cost of discarding a master or servant from your hand. If you do, rest this, and at the start of your next encore step, this goes to memory. So, it's sort of hand encore? Not even. Like, first of all, it has to survive to the end of the opponent's turn, so it can't be countered by anything, which is... Eh, it's an 8-5 before power buff, so I guess that's feasible. Nah, well, you just have to kill something, I guess, and then they have to kill it. And then you add that one to hand on. It goes back and forth. Um, it doesn't fit into a deck. That's no, the issue. no, it doesn't. It just doesn't fit into any deck. I think it's still like I guess maybe a niche card. It has niche to be niche. It's niche. It's niche because I don't know. I just can't see a deck where this goes in. I mean, at least it's a two soul beater um, with pseudo hand on core and the yeah, fake weapon a, trait and the fake get it with compression. Archer. Yeah, yeah, I guess. Because you have to pay two for it, so it's not yeah. even like you're actually compressing. Yeah, it's the fakeness of compression. Never mind the you ditch, because it's... You can't even ditch your climax. No, yeah, it's, it's character encore functionally. Mm. 
So Encore on next card is Encounter on a Rainy Day. This is the card we've been talking about. Uh, good in the Ilya deck. Good in a caster based deck. That's about it. Yep, it's still a niche card because of those restrictions. It is niche. Yeah, it is niche. Like even though it's, like this isn't as good as Calibog because Calibog goes into a very specific defined deck and has um, a lot more support built around having that card there. Exactly. Whereas this card is just a mill, uh, a bondable mill with uh, cantrip, bondable milling cantrip. Okay, last card. Now, here is the final and real payoff for the Ilya Berserker deck. Yep. So, this card is um, Berserker's Will. Uh, it's a 2 0. Are we on that card? Or? Yes. Oh, I need to flip the card. I have like everything else updated, but this. Yes, so Let's it go. is a 2 0 counter. Uh, sack a character with Ilya or Berserker name. Like, you could literally just read that and I would play it. <laughs> If so, look it up to four cards from the top of your library, add one card to your hand, and put the rest in your waiting room. So, it's pretty great. Everything is great. Uh, one, free sack counter. Um, as someone who plays Dragon Strike, 1-1 uh, Roach event, um, go Shitoge. Sack counters never fu uh, are always good to have in your deck. And if they're free, all the better. Uh, Dragon Strike. Um, and this card cantrips. It lets you grab any card from the top four. That's what has that extra cost. So what happens is they play three clock kicks. You play your first Berserker's Will, sack an Ilya, and then you look at the top four, take your second Berserker's Will, sack the next Ilya, look at the top four, get the third Berserker's Will, and bam, your opponent lost all their value. <laughs> I mean, yes, that's exactly what happened. <laughs> <laughs> it's a possibility. At the cost Not... of no cards in hand and all of your field, your opponent One just got screwed. Hand. One card in hand. No, because the card replaces itself each time. Well, yeah, but you use the first card and you'll end up with one less card. How? And you because you use the last counter. Yeah, and the last counter still grabs a new card. Oh, good point. You end up with Mates. the exact same number of cards in hand. <laughs> you just three exact, less cards on you end field. Up with the, you end up with the exact same hand because you just got your fourth Berserk as well as well. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> now this card is sweet. Um, it's a payoff for Ilya Berserker. And I definitely think that it's, um, it's, it's niche meta, basically. <laughs> it's a really weird thing to say, but it is, it is niche meta. I think this card is, is pretty freaking great. Um, if... I cared more about Fate as a set, this would be the second deck I'd build in Fate, because I feel like I can do more heinous things with Rider Dot deck, because it has the stock swap event. I think that Master Dot deck is really... We'll, we'll talk about that in the overview, but um, I think that's the end of our um, of our review for now, yep. and we'll be back with a a quick overview. <laughs>